Hey guys, Tarko Cycling FPV here, and I'm getting ready to actually, I'm working on a build here right now. This is an F4 build, and I'm using the JHEMCU F4 flight controller that we have online, and I'm using a FreeSky RXSR uh, receiver. And what I'm trying to do now is I'm going to be getting, um, I want telemetry to pass through the S port, and uh, I know that a lot of you have had this question in the past, so what I've done is I've connected it up, and then I said, okay, I'm going to stop right now and do this video while I'm in the middle of this build, just so you guys can see how you would connect the, um, how you would configure smart port, okay? Now, there's going to be a couple trials and error here just because I always try to remember the commands in, in Betaflight, but I may have this screwed up in my head. So we're going to walk through it together. But the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to show you what the most common mistake is that everybody's doing, and then I'm going to show you how to fix it. Okay, so let me go to this board here, and let's do it just, just like this. Uh, I need a sip of my coffee, by the way. Sorry, one second. Okay, so what we've got right here is we've got the frame. We've got the JHEMCU ESC, 4-in-1 ESC. Uh, all right, and now we've got the JCMCU, JGMCU flight controller. Now, the biggest, uh, the biggest mistake people usually make uh, is that they are wiring these together, and this is the yellow cable on this uh, RXSR is going to be your um, smart port, right? The green cable is going to be your, uh, it's either going to be your S bus or your CPPM, depending on how you program it in here. If you push the button, hold it, then the light will blink, and the blue light's off, it's CPPM, and blue light's on, it's S bus, okay? So, and then the, the last one would be uh, S bus in, uh, and that would be like if you're running a secondary flight controller, like a backup, right? All right, so the main thing we want to do right now is we want to go ahead and we want to find the yellow cable right here, and we're going to lift that prong up, all right? Just carefully lift it up. You don't have to break it. Lift it up. Now, I've twisted these wires here and left them long on purpose because uh, I, I don't know where I want to do the placement of this yet for the um, final install. All right, once that's removed, I left them twisted. I, I twisted them together knowing I was going to be removing it because I want the wires to stay somewhat clean. Um, so what we're going to do now is we're going to look at the actual uh, receiver. Sorry, the table's messy. This has been an ongoing project this morning. Uh, but let's look at the receiver, okay? And I'll try to zoom in here as best as I can. So let me show you what we got. All right. I know it's going to be a little blurry, but just try to focus here on what I'm pointing at. So if you're holding the receiver with the uh, plug up and the antennas on the bottom, then you've got these two dots right here, right? So the top dot is going to be your uh, uh, uninverted uh, S port. The bottom dot will be your uninverted S bus. Now this flight controller has an S bus a dedicated connection, so I don't have to worry about that. But if you are trying to connect S bus to a flight controller does not have uh, S bus connection and you're using the free sky, then you may have to tap into this uninverted um, and therefore you can get it to work properly, all right? But what we're gonna do right now is we're gonna get this small, small pin right here, this small uh, pad, I mean, and we're gonna, we're gonna tin it. And I've already tinned it actually. I'm gonna drop a piece of solder on it. I'm gonna cut this yellow cable here and I'm gonna solder it right to there. That should give me my uninverted, which will then give me my uh, telemetry. And I'm sorry if you hear my dogs barking in the background. The two Yorkies are having a battle with one another. So my apologies to you. All right, so first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take that off. I'm gonna go ahead and strip this wire. Okay, there it is, very small amount. The pad is very small. And I'm going to tin it. So I'm going to dip this in the uh, soldering paste, the solder paste here, or the flux paste, I mean, sorry, flux paste. And uh, I am going to get the old man glasses now because I can't see. Uh, let me see, which ones do I want to wear? I put them here somewhere. Here they are. Let me see if these will work. Yeah, that should be good. All right. So I'm going to do that. Let me put this light over here so I can see a little bit. Okay. All right, now what I want to do is I want to, I've already tinned this with the flux pen. I mean, I've already put, uh, sorry, I've already used the flux pen and now I'm just going to go ahead and tin the pad. All right, so let me just grab a little thing of solder here. And if you can see these dots, it's basically, if you look at this and you have one in front of you, it's P, it's the letter P. Matter of fact, let me just show you, see if I can do it this way, make it easier. Um, let's see if I can do this here. So if you're looking at this, uh, I'll keep these goofy glasses on. Let me see if I can get that close to you. Uh, I don't think so. No, I guess it won't focus. Sorry, guys. I was trying here to get it this way. All right. Well, let me quit wasting time. All right. My wife just got home. All right. Cool. So um, anyways, it's going to be this letter P. It's the pad with the letter P on it. There's, there's what looks to be like a... 
a B and a P. So you're going to go for that one that's right under the letter P. All right. And my wife's about to walk in. I don't know what she got. She went shopping. So hopefully we didn't drop the bank there. All right. So I'm just going to put a small dab of solder right here. There we go. All right. Now, give me one second and I will be right back. I'm going to see her when she comes in. So hold on. Okay, so I'm back. Sorry. Uh, just went to help my wife carry the stuff in. So what we're going to do now is now that we've tinned this, we're going to go ahead and we're going to, I got to find my tweezers and we're going to solder this up, right? So, man, I tell you what, I am trying to remember to put my tools away when I'm done with them because this place turns into a hodgepodge mess. Uh, all right, tweezers are here. Soldering iron is here. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to gently solder this wire and I'm going to come across this way right because I don't want to touch any other pads and it's pretty clear this way so I'm just going to come this way oh I don't think I tinned my oh yeah I did but I want to tin it let me get just a little bit more on here all right there we go so I'm going to drop this in just like this perfect Okay, now, before I do anything else, right, uh, because we want to make sure this works, right? So I'm going to show you now. I'm going to bring in my transmitter. So let me show you what I got here. All right, and I'm going to go ahead and plug this in. Okay. There we go. All right, and I'm going to zoom out now. So let me zoom out. All right, so you can see the whole setup. And I'm going to bring... My transmitter in. Now, I have already made some adjustments in Betaflight, but I'm going to go back and try to set them as default. And I'm going to put the computer screen on here to share as well, okay? So let's let's do this. Here, we'll do uh, one, two, whoops. Let's do it just like that, baby. There we go. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and turn on the radio. Welcome and I'm going to go ahead and open. Where is my mouth? There we go. There's beta flight right there, okay? Yeah, yeah, stop talking a second. All right, now I'm going to go to my uh, telemetry screen. There we go. And I'm going to tell it to... Uh, I'm going to tell it to discover new sensors, but first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to plug this in. Now this board does power the uh, receiver, okay? So just as long as you know that. And then I'm gonna tell it to start discovering new sensors and I'm gonna flip on the power right here. Okay, and now look. What we're looking to see, now we're just jumping on telemetry, so give it a second. Telemetry recovered. Make sure I got a good connection there. Okay. So, okay. Now there is, I did the RXSR update, but I want to make sure that we have everything set properly here. Let me just lay that down. Okay. So now what I want to do is I'm going to go to my beta flight. I'm going to connect, right? Let me see if I can get this to connect real quick. Telemetry recovered. Yeah. Yeah. Hold on a second. Telemetry lost. There we go. Telemetry getting the beta flight. There we go. Okay. Now I'm going to go to my CLI, right? And I'm going to set these to the defaults. Okay. So hold on one second. Let me get the, because I don't think they're on their defaults yet. So let me just go ahead and check. All right. Okay. So let's go to defaults and let's go to um, set TLM. And we're going to go to half duplex and hit enter and see what it is. The default. Sensor lost. Um, I have it as on, but I think I'm going to change this and see if I can do this to off. Uh, let me click save. Let's have this reboot. And then the other thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go to connect again, go to my CLI, and I'm going to tell it to um, set TLM inverted and hit enter. And inverted equals on, and it should be, let me see, inverted equals off. Default value is off. Let's click save. Okay. All right. Now, what we want to do is we want to see what we've got going on here, right? 
So this would be the default, okay? And what we want to see is, are we? I'm going to delete all this. I'm going to stop discovery, and I'm going to delete all my sensors. Yes. Yeah, so everything that it's found now is gone. Okay. If you look at my screen here, everything's gone. Let me let me just verify that we're at the top here. Our society. Okay. Discover new sensors. Yeah. This is this is uh, right now. I really don't have anything. Okay. I got this. Uh, yeah, I have really nothing going on. All right. So let me go ahead and click connect now. And first thing is, I want you to notice that my UART, I, U, I used UART 3, so I selected Smart Port, and that's active. And then under Configuration, I went ahead and I selected Telemetry. And now I'm going to go to my CLI, and we're going to see what we got. Okay, so we want to find out what sensors we're getting. So we're going to click Discover New Sensors. And the first thing we're going to get is RSSI. And this is basically the defaults that we're getting. We're getting voltage to the board and we're getting our RSSI strength, right? Okay, what we wanna do now is we wanna see exactly what we have to do to get our telemetry to work through the system, right? So the first thing we wanna do is we're gonna power up. Uh, I'm using a power supply. And, and then we're gonna to look to see what we can get here, right? So we've got a solid five volts now, and we've got super, you know, a strong signal, obviously. So now what I wanna do is in a beta flight, I'm gonna to go to set TLM, and I'm gonna select, uh, uh, let's see, we'll start with half duplex, hit enter. And right now the default value is, I have it as off, the default's on, I actually did that backwards, so make sure it says on and leave it as default and click save. All right, now we're gonna see if anything, and now look, you see how we're getting all this populated, okay? So everything is now set and we are now getting our telemetry like normal. So in this case, if you just left it as a default and used your uh, uninverted, um, uh, what you call it here? Let me do this real quick. There. Okay. So if you use your uninverted pad signal, right, or your pad on the RXSR, and you connect that to your TX, like in this case, I did UART three or TX three on the board, and then I, all I'm doing is I'm leaving the default. So I'm going to my uh, since I'm using UART three TX three, I'm going to my uh, configuration tab, so or I'm going to my ports tab. Let's do it here. So maybe I can do this in. in different ways here so if you look uh, let's see you've got to my to your left or my left whatever it is you've got the controller and on the other side you've got beta flight right so let me just show you how we do this so by default the end result is the following under ports make sure to select if you're using TX3 then you're using UART3 if you're using TX6 and using UART6 so TX6 is what I can or TX3 is what I connected to so I came over here and I selected smart port right and then I go to my configuration tab and you have to make sure you do this you got to go down and you got to activate telemetry okay then what you do is, as long as you're connecting to the uninverted uh, uh, S port, which is that pad, the pad right near the letter P on the RXSR, then you're going to go to your CLI, wait for this thing to beep, and you're going to go to your CLI, and you're going to go to type, type set TLM, and it may autofill now with the new version of Betaflight, but if you set TLM and you go to half duplex, just move your arrow key down, hit enter, right? The default value is on. Therefore, uh, you should see it as tel uh, telemetry half duplex equals on, right? And then you're going to go to your inverted, so set TLM, uh, TLM, and then inverted, hit enter. And again, inverted is off because this is the uninverted signal coming from the board. That's also the default. With those two things, with those two things set, you really should just be able to solder it, turn it on, and start getting the telemetry when you say discover new sensors. Right now, I'm just going to click exit. I'm going to type exit, get out of this, get everything to start back up, and we're going to watch now. Once we're watched, you're going to see all this. It starts populating. So now you can see my VFAS, right, which is going to be my battery. So let's get the screen. We've got 14.2, and there it is, 14.2. You've got uh, pretty much everything here that you needed. And as your sensors go, so now when you exit, you can go to your screen, right, and you can set whatever screens you want. Sorry, I'm doing this wrong. Hold your, hold your page down. I didn't select a, te select a telemetry screen, but if I wanted to, I would hit the middle button, Select page till I get to my, let me get over here. I think this is gonna be, yeah, screen one. And then I'm gonna set, uh, I'm gonna set numbers, right? And I'm gonna put the first one I want is my uh, VFAST, because I wanna know what my, I'll take RSSI. And then, I don't want anything here actually. And then I want my VFAST, because that's gonna be my battery. So let me go ahead and scroll to that. There it is. All right, 
Now watch, if I just put those, for example, a whole page down, there it is. I see my RSSI and I see my battery on my, that's, that's being fed. So that information is being set back down, which is perfect. And that's what I wanted, okay? So hopefully guys, that helps. That's how you're gonna set up your telemetry on your RXSR and, and almost all free sky receivers, there is an uninverted pad somewhere on the board. And if you have any questions about it, look, just send me an email to target at cyclonefpv.com. As always, please subscribe to our channel. It helps for support. And then also follow us on Facebook, okay? Uh, other than that, if you have any questions, hit me up. Listen, go fly, go have fun with your family, guys. Remember, you don't know how much time you've got with him, so please make the most of it. God bless, be safe, and we'll talk to you next time. See ya. Bye.